Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Uh, listen, I wanted to mention, by the way, Stan Harley will be our guest again at the half hour. He's going to go and extend some of these uh, discussions we had on cycles and uh, left translation and right translation, very important in cycle uh, analysis. And it's also very important when you're looking at these things that we call flags or uh, dynamite triangles. I wanted to bring up a couple of the banking stocks. I've said this many times, but you notice that this high that we made uh, right up here, uh, right before the markets came apart, that's when Bart, Jim Bartolioni was our guest. And Bart told us, look, that was a 382 on the long-term weekly. It was an ABCD structure. Everything that screamed, you know, this thing's ready to go down. Of course, um, we didn't think it was going to go down this far, but you can see what's happened when these market break, these little two-day rallies. That's what this little flag is about. And so when you have a two-day rally and then you take the low out of the previous day, that's what causes this acceleration. But look at this. This is not even even begin to make a bottom down in here. I mean, this is this is a very ominous psych, uh, thing. But I, I'm not I don't want to show all of these banks, but I do want to I want to show you, uh, you know, a couple of them because I, I think they're important enough to, uh, you know, really give us an idea. The next one we're going to look at here is. Um, Let's just get this up here so we can see it really quickly. This is First Republic. Oh, dear. Just a second here. The Billy Ray Valentine has missed the game. I've, I can't figure out. Ah, there it is. I got it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, this is this is uh, First Republic of Los Angeles. Remember, it was going to be bought out here, and it, it all fell through. Look at this. This thing is just keeps cascading down. I mean, this is the same thing. If you look at these little little triangles on the way down. I mean, I'm not going to be talking about those too much unless the people have an interest in it, but it's a good way for for people that are really aggressive and really press the, you know, press the handle. I don't do that, but there are others that do, but there's a, there's a way of actually trading those if you watch it. But uh, let me do let me just do one two more that because they they're very very important and one of them is most of you probably have an account at this outfit and it's called hold on one second. It is called Bank of America. So give me one second here. Oh, they're giving me a, a little bit of a, uh, hold on just a second, a warning here that my data is coming out and glued, and I don't like to hear that. So here's Bank of America. It's actually one of the better ones. If you'll notice here, uh, we had a little bit of a bounce here. We, we couldn't even make it a 382 on this last bounce. You can see it just nothing, and then today it's down quite a bit. Now, this, this doesn't have... This doesn't have any effect on your past books and stuff, folks. Well, the FDIC is supposed to do that. What happens is the stockholders of Bank of America, those are the ones that uh, have trouble. That's the, that's the main ones. Back in 1986, uh, when I was living with John Raffoni up in Avila Beach after I had left Commodity Corporation, Bank of America was selling for $5 a share. It actually hit 4.98 at one time, and John bought – Personally, he bought a uh, million dollar, a million shares. He put five million dollars in it, and of course, uh, he sold it much, much higher many years ago. But uh, what was happening there is the bank was so mismanaged that, and they had such good assets that it was just a matter of time before someone realized that that's it. Another one was McDonald's, folks. In 2008, you remember after the 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 big uh, the big debacle down there? Do you know that uh, I believe no, it was 2000. 2008. Nope, it was 2004. In 2004, after the the dot com, uh, was it dot com? Yeah, the 2000 high, the 2004 low. McDonald was selling for ten seven ten ten dollars and seventy eight cents. It's two hundred and seventy eight dollars now. Someone realized that there was good value there. Well, good value is when you're looking at the price of the chart and say how how much do I have to risk to see if I'm going to buy that stock, and that's primarily what we try to do with pattern recognition is to pick the ones that look like the very best and some of these stocks look so very very bad that I wouldn't touch them with a with a fine tooth comb you know I mean look at the, you had what silver uh, 
uh, the Silicon Valley Bank went under, uh, the, the Bank of New York went under, uh, Signature Bank in New York. Um, the Mellon Bank is good. Um, J.P. Morgan looks really good. Let me just show you J.P. Morgan here, folks. This is this is the best of the best, as far as I'm concerned, of the banks, and it just made a 382 retracement too. So bear with me here. This is not good action. It really isn't. Maybe this is what the stock. Oh, this is what the stock markets are possibly anticipating here. But look at this. Just recently, yesterday. Oh, excuse me. Today. JP Morgan hit a 382 retracement of the move down. Now, if we start going below here, trouble in River City. But look what happened here when the market took off. Look, it just, just keeps cascading. See, if you looked at those little breakouts on the way up, that's how you trade those. The more I look at those each day, in fact, I was doing those today and I was just you know, picking a pocket change, but it was, uh, it was fun to watch them because they work so quickly and they work so accurately. So I'm going to be looking into it a little bit. My, my, my game, plan, game plan is, uh, uh-oh, we've got a cowboy coming in from Wyoming. Yeah. Lazy Larry's up on the ball. What do you got, my yeah. friend? <laughs> I just got off the horse, checked my computer. I got a question. <laughs> Fire away, my friend. <laughs> Uh, well, on the 60-minute um, June lean hogs, my symbols, you know, forward slash H-E-M. Okay. And um, the, I understand, we had a, in our cash a, a, a buy for 89.50. But the, um, you know, on the 60-minute, you can see the ABCD down for the Gartley buy shifted to the right, kind of. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, with first you, you 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 have to be doing the June hogs, correct? Uh, I believe it was June. Yeah, I hope I got that yes. right. Even yes, yeah, that is June. correct. It's June hogs, and we are right there right now. Let's get it. We we should be trading. Uh, yesterday we hit a low of uh, eighty. Uh, I think the the buy was at right at eighty nine, as I recall. Eighty nine fifty, I believe. Eighty nine fifty, you know. and they're trading at eighty nine fifty right now. Let's get this up here. So the folks yeah. can see it. This is actually pretty good because you just put a uh, you know one one cent uh, stop on it, and the reason why is because you know uh, yep there we go get it up here so you'll be able to see it. Um, that is setting right at the exact seven eight six. It hit it two days in a row. So yeah. you know I, I have my stop working at eighty eight ten. That's where I'm I'm risking only uh, five hundred dollars right. in that. But I become a okay. hog farmer for five hundred bucks. So that's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. Yep. All right. It uh, doesn't matter that the ABC D down of the Gartley buy shifted to the right. There's no. It doesn't matter in this case. No, no, because I have I have three reasons to buy it. I have the ABC D from the high, and then I also have the 78 percent retracement, and then I have a okay. 1.27 expansion of the last high to low, and that tells me three numbers okay. are there. It either stops right here, or uh, I'll be up there living with you in your ranch yeah. house. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Larry. Hey, Larry, Bye. anytime, my friend. I like your Bye. name. Whoever named you, they named you the right name, I guess, right? <laughs> well, you know, Lawrence Olivier was a big, big dude at that time in history in my mom's mind. <laughs> oh, well, my, well, I'll tell you a story about my grandmother Bye. when I, when Bye -bye. I uh, meet you someday for a drink. Okay. Okay. We'll take a break. Th hey, thanks for calling in, Larry. Stay, stay warm. Summer's coming. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, okay, I think I have the chart of uh, the June live hogs up right now. I hope we do. Uh, this is one of the larger of the commodities traded. Cattle, of course, and hogs are very big. And, of course, hogs are the number one hogs and chicken over in the, in uh, Asia. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This is uh, encompasses just about everything that we uh, teach here. Uh, at TFNN. This is the chart. You can see the bottom that we made back here. The market has a really strong rally. Then it comes down and makes an ABCD formation to the downside. You notice that that red box there shows you at 89.53. Guess where it's trading today, folks? 89.53. The low was made yesterday at uh, 88.90. So anything below that you're probably wrong, so you're risking only about $250 here in hogs. And what I've done here is I've added the other swings that are there. When Larry and I were talking, uh, you'll notice here that you have the market goes up, and then it comes down, and then it comes up, and then it comes down. And what that does is it gives you several calculations. You can see this is the double bottom, and then you come up, and there's your expansion. So now you have three numbers here. You have the expansion number from this move, okay? You have the 78% level of this move, and then you have the ABCD move of this one. So now you have three things to tell you, and you don't know nothing about hogs. You don't know how many are out there. <laughs> as long as there's not a pig crop report tomorrow, it should be okay. But now you know exactly what your risk is. So you're risking $400. Now, if it's right, what will your possible you know, swing be? Well, the minimum swing so far has been three and a half cents. So that's a little over $1,200. So you're risking $400 to make $1,200. That's three to one, with the probability of winning better than 62%. Now, there's no baseball player that hits 60, 620. There's no golfer that that's wins 60% of the ballpark uh, of, the, of the golf matches or stuff. But anyway, this is what you try to do, is you line up these numbers so that you have a place to say, ah, this is where I can play the game. You don't need anything about fundamentals, not important. They probably are, but not to us because we're technicians. And uh, that's what we're trying to do as we look at some of those. Now, I wanted to just review some of the things that we had coming in this week because they, they were really quite exciting. I mean, because they so many of them hit 
just absolutely spot on. And if you if you don't believe me, just go and well, you can go check them yourself. But uh, we've been very bullish um, the sugar for a very long time, and uh, we were noticing here that if we once we the the big 1.618 number on this came right into that level, that's where your your final profit objective was. You can see the three drive to a top pattern right here. I mean, this is nothing but ABCDs all the way up. And here you've, you've reached your final destination. And so you don't care if it goes any higher because that's where you were supposed to take your profits. You don't want to be greedy because if you become greedy, you'll become the needy and you don't want to do that. Always have a place to take your profits. Sure, it may go far beyond where you want it to go, but by golly, that's what you have to do. And if there's ever been an example of that, it's been in those soybeans, folks, because I took profits way too early. But uh, we had a nice run, and we're going to have another run. They're down uh, today for the first day. We're probably going to get three or four more down days. But look at that beautiful buy right here at that Gartley at uh, 1392. The low was 1384, and we've gone up uh, a dollar a bushel over five grand uh, we got three of the five but uh, we left a bunch on the table but we'll pick it up on the next time the bus drives by and we'll be able to have another trade that we see lining up pretty nicely so those are just some of the ones that we've been watching really closely and if you those of you that have been with us for for quite some time you remember here just about a month ago well I was about three weeks ago on on March 27th we had this big high that was happening in the uh, cattle. I'll point this out to you in just a little bit, and it led to a beautiful buy. You'll see there was our little our pattern right here. We had multiple ABCDs right up at this level at 161. The market broke right down to the 61% retracement of this low here at 151. And look at this for eight eight nine days now. It's just been absolutely straight up, and we're almost ready to hit the top part of this three drive to a top pattern at this particular time. Notice how hogs are going lower and cattle are going higher. That happens all the time because it's a different meat, folks. The people that buy beef are pe different than the people that buy pork and chicken. And I uh, don't know what that difference is, but there's a difference. I guess it's because beef is so expensive and chicken and pork are relatively bad. By the way, uh, the price of eggs have come down somewhat, but with the price of soybeans getting ready to accelerate, get ready to start paying five to ten dollars a dozen in eggs so it's going to be a big big move for some of these people to try to get by without spending it you know an arm and a leg you know for some of these things okay now this is the one i haven't checked yet for this let's get this one up here because this is the one that was uh, really interesting if you remember a week or so ago we had that big move in april hogs now april are into they're not into delivery but we're we're in the delivery month, so they switched over to the June. But you can see here the, the big bottom that we had right here. That was a really nice move here, stopping right at the 382. That was worth well over uh, $1,400 on a four-day rally. Of course, we made a newer low, and now we're, we're starting to bounce back a little bit. But as you get into the delivery months, like if you're trading April hogs, you don't want to be trading April hogs. You want to switch over and go to the next lead month, which in this particular case will be the June. Now, we do a lot in currencies, so you can trade any of the currencies that you want. Another one that has been really interesting, and if you don't believe this one, this is, this is really spectacular, the pattern that we had here in copper, the metal. And we'll just get this up here. It's another thing that makes you wonder why stocks would be rallying. Look at this absolutely spectacular 135 pattern we had here on Friday, folks. We're down here. This is where this is where we're trading below well below four dollars now in the uh, in the copper. It's had a huge break. And so it's got down into this area right here. But a beautiful pattern right here. You can see the three drive pattern that is right here setting right at the 61 percent retracing of that move. But even more importantly, it was the 382 of this move right here. So you had four or five numbers right there at that uh, level of uh, three, uh, 390, 397, and it rallied all the way up to 410, and now it's uh, going back down below that level because these patterns, when they move, they're very, very dynamic, and you don't want to stand in front of the old dynamo when that's happening because these things, when they move, and they do move very quickly, you got to be very, very assured that, by golly, you don't want to stand in front of some of these freight trains that have been going on. Now, 
I wanted to bring this up. This is a really interesting one because uh, this is where we were. Uh, this is where we were Friday, folks. You're going to get a kick out of this one because we were getting ready to sell crude oil uh, on on Sunday night, <laughs> and you'll see why. We were sitting on the top of this channel right here, and of course, <laughs> the dudes opened it up seven dollars. If you'd had the sell order and you got filled right on the high. And it's broken three dollars from that level. But the news announcement came out about the Saudis, you know, cutting back production, and the market gapped up. We've seen this many times if you traded oil over the years. On September the 19th of 2019, same thing, dropped 19 dollars a barrel after that high. Hey, we'll be right back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back with Stan Harley for segment two of the Harley Stock Market Letter and Cycle Information. Stan, how are you doing? Hello, Larry. I'm doing just awesome. Oh, my goodness. It's just like Hollywood now with this uh, new microphone. Whatever you did is just perfect. It's perfect. That's great. <laughs> Let's go. Tell us, uh, do this pretty much the same thing and, and spend some time about the importance of high translation left and high translation right because that's really important because when when cycles crest real early it's extremely bearish and uh you know that uh, it's just very important and when they you know go to the right it's extremely bullish so try to uh give the folks two cents worth of what that really means absolutely uh, larry um just as a backdrop i thought i would review again for all the viewers, uh, the dominant 
what I call the primary cycle on the weekly chart and what that is and, and why you and I and all of us need to be keenly aware of what's going on. Um, over time, the uh, stock market tends to make important lows at roughly 34 week intervals. That's equivalent to eight months. Parentheses, both of those are Fibonacci numbers. Um, that cycle, of course, like all cycles, it contracts and expands over time. But if one looks at a sufficiently uh, large enough sample size, one will find that the nominal span is right at 34 weeks, eight months. And that cycle, of course, last bottomed on October the 13th of last year. And based on my analysis, it's due to bottom again in mid-June, which would be eight months later. Um, and uh, so that's my expectation. Of course, before we get to a low, we have to get to a high. And that's only two months from now. So this market has basically been uh, chuggling and uh, higher now for five. Now we're now into the sixth month. So now we need to start looking for signs that this thing could be topping out. Uh, here is a chart of the S&P 500 that I ran off about two hours ago. Well, not even that, a little over an hour ago. Um, this goes back about a year's time. And uh, with the red vertical arrows, I have denoted the prior 34-week cycle bottom and where I am expecting the next 34-week cycle bottom to occur, and that's in mid-June. Each of these primary cycles, I have found, tend to be spliced by four what I call trading cycles. If the cycle expands, there might be five. If it contracts, there might be only three. But generally speaking, the vast majority tend to have four distinct trading cycles within them. The, the, the prior uh, primary cycle that bottomed in October, it, it had four trading cycles. Um, the, uh, the current one, uh, I believe, will have four. We've seen number one, we've seen number two, and now we're in number three. So we need to think, start thinking about, okay, when is this thing likely to peak out? I mean, here we are, you know, we're in April and a low is due in June. So I'd be getting a little bit nervous from the long side, and rightly so. Uh, on the S&P chart, S&P chart coming down into the October low, each of the trading cycles was characterized by left translation. What does that mean? Well, if you look at the time period from low to low for the then current trading cycle, and then take note of where the high point occurred, is that high point to the right or, or to the left of the middle of the cycle, the midpoint? If it's to the right, we have right translation. If it's to the left, we have left translation. And left translation is associated with a declining market environment. Right translation associated with a rising market environment. I know this all sounds complicated, but once uh, one takes a look at it and carefully uh, examines, it can give us a lot of clues as to what's going on. All the way into the October lows, each of the trading cycles was associated with left translation. Okay. Now, we hit the October bottom, start moving up out of there. The very first trading cycle on the S&P chart was 49 trading days. And the crest occurred over there on December 13th, well to the right. I mark that right translation. Now, the second trading cycle, which began from the December lows and then bottomed in mid-March, that spanned bottom to bottom 53 trading days. And the, uh, the top, the crest that occurred on February the 2nd uh, was, what was it, 28 trading days. It was, it was one day to the right of the middle. So mark that one as right translation, but just barely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's look at the Dow chart. That's the next one. Similar structure, but the highs and the lows are not exactly the same as the S&P. Uh, the first trading cycle was 49 trading days as measured low to low. Still, we had right translation. But, Larry, the second cycle expanded to 55 trading days. And look at where the crest occurred, well to the left of the midpoint, well yeah, to that, the left, yeah. over there um, in, uh, in, uh, in the middle of January. So chalk went up for left translation. Well, and also with left translation, you typically have a lower crest and a lower trough. And that's exactly what the Dow exhibited. So S&P, 
We had right translation in the last cycle. The Dow, we had left. And I look at three more, what I call the major benchmark indices. I call them the big five. For me, the big five are the, the Dow Industrials, the Dow Transports, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ Composite, and the New York Composite. And I want to look at all five of those and kind of make a little compilation. And that's what I've done here. So I looked at the December low to the March low for all five of those. And a little tick box here. Did those cycles have right, left, or center translation? And here's the summary. The S&P wow. was the only index to experience right translation. And it did only by one trading day. The Dow had left translation. The NASDAQ had left translation. The New York composite topped exactly at the midpoint. I call that center translation. And the Dow Jones transports also had left translation. So clearly left translation carries the day. So what is that telling me? The 34 week cycle has probably seen its highs. And now we're in the process of heading lower. Well, we're heading lower today, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we're lower At today. So I don't think yeah. the high is in. Um, it could be, but I don't think so. Uh, and here's one of the reasons why. I've got a number of reasons, but here's here's one reason. Um, this is a chart of the Dow Industrials going back two years. And notice how the vertical lines are pretty evenly spaced. Well, they are. They're spaced every 80 trading days. Um, I've marked the high points uh, of the trading cycle highs in each of the last two years. And then I dump this information to a spreadsheet, crank the, crank the wheel, and out comes the, uh, the analysis. We have an 80 trading day cycle here, evident in, uh, in, in terms of highs. And the standard deviation on that is three trading days. And what the analysis wow. says is look to the April 10th time period for the next high. Now, that doesn't tell us the magnitude of the high, but it tells us to look for a high Mm -hmm. right around April the 10th. And I know historically um, we have a standard deviation there, which is an, an important factor to consider when you're doing analysis. You really need to know that. Uh, the standard deviation is three trading days. So that tells me April the 10th with a 68% probability of a high occurring within three trading days of that day. Well, that's next week. Today's the fourth. It sure is. Hey, stay with us, Dan, please. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And please continue, young man. Absolutely, Larry. Let's uh, go back and take a look at the stock market once again. Just to kind of summarize things, uh, the trading cycle structure is exhibiting left translation. The 80 trading day cycle is telling us that a high is likely coming here very soon. So we need to be thinking about that and uh, either taking steps to mitigate the risk or do whatever a trader needs to do. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convey not how to trade, but I'm trying to convey the analytical process here. Sure. I'm a cycles person. I want to look at timing counts from lows to lows, highs to highs, and then look at other things like translation and kind of put this all together in the mix, give it a good shake. And that gives me some clues as, as to whether I believe the market is likely to trend higher or trend lower. And it's my view, we're getting close to a, probably what could be a tradable high. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at interest rates. Uh, this is a very long-term chart. Going back many years, this data was provided to me by the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. And that uh, goes back to the 1750s. So quite a period of time. I have not... Uh, throughout the duration of this this time period, seeing a definitive single cycle. Uh, although post-Civil War, there appears to be a 40-year cycle in the data series, but from 1753 through the present, I can't find a nice, clear cycle. But what I can find are the time counts uh, in years from high to high and from low to low. And uh, it's fascinating to me as, a, as an analyst to see that these time counts are a function of the Lucas number series. Mm -hmm. For example, over there on the left, uh, the first two highs I have marked with the blue vertical lines span a period of 44 years. Well, wow. clearly that's the number 47 Lucas number that's uh, operational. Uh, the next sequence spanned a total of 78 years. That's the Lucas number 76 in operation. Mm -hmm. And then the, the last high to high function spanned 61 years. Uh, that's the Lucas number 29 times two, which equals 58. Uh, so these Lucas numbers work not only across the top, defining the crests, but they also work across the bottom, defining the troughs. And as we've talked about in the past, they work very well in defining uh, markets, uh, the stock market, the yearly stock market going back to the year 1602 can be defined by these Lucas numbers in yearly counts as well. Fascinating stuff. Very Stan, when I look at that spike, I realize that's when we were starting. You know, it was back in the late 70s, early 80s, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that was, uh, wow. yeah, 1981, uh, yeah. 80, 81. I bought my first house as a young junior naval officer back in that time, and I paid mm -hmm. through the nose. <laughs> I got a VA loan, but I think my VA yeah. loan was 10%. Uh, yeah, wow. 
And that was a good deal back then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because 14, 15 percent was not unheard of. Uh, some people paid that. Yeah, they yeah, were they very did. thankful to That's get it. Sure. Speaking of uh, mortgage rates on homes, here is that data set uh, through the present time frame. And wow, look at this volcanic rise from mm -hmm. the beginning of 2021 through the present. In the last two plus years, rates have gone from mm, basically two and three quarters to over seven here just a few weeks yeah. ago. Wow. What a powerful move. And so what do rising rates do? Well, they kind of kill off uh, home prices. And that's exactly what's developing right now. Mm -hmm. This is the Case-Shiller data, which tracks home prices across the United States. Uh, anyone can download this data. It's available for free on the U.S. government FRED website. Uh, one can download the national index data, which, is, which this is a graphic of. You can pull the data into a spreadsheet and plot it and analyze it. And then there are also uh, 20 regional indices around the country, as well as 10 separate indices that reflect the major metropolitan areas around the country. This wow. is the national index going back to 1975. And just take note of the, of the waveform. What we will find is all of the metropolitan areas around the United States have essentially the same waveform. Some areas, particularly out west, might be a little bit more volatile, but you still have essentially the same waveform. Very characteristic here is a major spike high that occurred in the summer of 2006. And another one, which I believe occurred about six, seven months ago uh, in the summer of 2022. Uh, we're in the very early stages of that, but let's let's just take a peek uh, out west at the LA index, for example, an area where you and I used to live. Um, that has the same waveform as the national index. Uh, it's a little more volatile, uh, meaning the the crests and the troughs are a little bit more mm -hmm. pronounced, which makes it a little easier for me to analyze as a cycles analyst. And uh, the time period between highs and lows is a very regular recurring uh, heartbeat of about 63 wow. to 64 months. That's well, I, about see a big a, B, C, D. I see a big ABCD pattern on that one, that's for sure. Um, My goodness. I hadn't thought of that, but I guess so, sure. Yeah, it's uh, pretty uh, much spot and on. Then a very simple but very effective buy-sell signal is take note of where the monthly price bars in blue cross the 18-month moving average in red, mm -hmm. and when the blue bars cross above the, uh, the 18 month in red, that's a, essentially a buy signal. Mm -hmm. uh, had a little fake out there in uh, 2010, 2011, but the, but the, uh, the, uh, the cycles analysis combined with looking at the way, the, uh, the structure and the, two, and the moving average and the price bars would have kept one sideline, but we got a definitive breakout in 2012 where the monthly price bars broke above the 18 month moving average and stayed above it all the way until this last data point, December 2022, which is the uh, the latest. Um, well, actually, I think we have the Jan we may have the January data now, which just came out a couple days ago, which I don't think I have on this chart. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, this this is this is the most recent one, I believe. Um, but regardless, what we're seeing now is a break of the monthly price bars below the 18-month moving average. So we have mm -hmm. a potential sell here in real estate. Um, wow. And I think uh, uh, it's a little early to say how low can we go, but look what happened between 2006 and 2012. Could it happen again? Uh, the, well, the short answer is yes, it could happen again, but I'll tell you what's different this time as compared to then. Then you had interest rates going down. Now you have interest rates going up. Yeah, up fast too. That's yes. <laughs> so could that be uh, a great bigger fly in the ointment? I don't know, but <laughs> as a technician, uh, I'd say it pays to be cautious. Something to be aware of. That's for sure. Indeed. Well, you you have some really good uh, charts here describing what you're looking at technically, and it really helps, Stan. So thanks for joining us, buddy. Have a wonderful holiday at Easter time, and we'll see you soon. Okay, buddy. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much. You bet. Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. We'll be right back with a wrap-up. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, uh, well, Stan made a really interesting case for left translation. And that's what we're seeing. I posted a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average showing the high we made in December. And you'll notice here, folks, that uh, we have made an exact 61% retracement. The number was 33,845. The high last night was 33,880. It was 35 points higher. 35 points out of something that's trading at 33,800. Are you kidding me? That's a pretty accurate number. We also saw the interest in the E-mini S&P, what it was doing. And most importantly, we saw that the Russell, even though the S&P and the Dow Jones were making the 61% retracements, the Russell small cap was only making a 38% retracement and couldn't even take out yesterday's high. These are negative things, folks. Now, whether the Federal Reserve dropping their GDP forecast Today means anything from 3.6 down to 1.9. We'll find out in the next few months to see if that's going to be correct. But follow the charts and trade what you see, not what you think, because you know what? They can lie to you. They can cheat you. They can give you misinformation, but they can't hide from you. 
If there's more buying, prices are going up. If there's more selling, prices are going down. Just look at those bank stocks, folks. They're yelling and screaming something's wrong out there, but nobody's paying attention to them. Because the Fed come out and said with Janet Yellen and the Treasury, we're going to back everybody. It doesn't make any difference. There'll be no failures. Well, maybe that's true. But again, we heard this before with Ben Bernanke back in October of 07. He said, all the lights are green on this economy, folks. And we went into the worst bear market that we had since 2000. So trade what you see, not what you think. That's what it's all about. It's not what you think, folks. It's how you think. you got to think like a winner. A winner thinks how much I can lose, not how much I can win. Protect your backside. See you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 